Hi guys, it's Sam and I'm back with another video for Lawn Fawn. Today I am making a card with the new A Waffle Lot Stamps and Dies, the Be Happy stamp set, Henry's ABC's die set, and the Sunray background stencil. I am starting by stamping all of my images in black ink and I'm leaving a lot of room between the waffles because I know I'm going to be adding uh, little arms and legs from the Be Happy stamp set. And then I'm just stamping along all of my waffle accessories. <laughs> I am stamping the strawberries, blueberries. Uh, spoiler alert, the strawberries and blueberries do not make it on the plate. And by plate... I mean card. They do not make it on the card. Okay. Um, those little, I'm using those little blobby images as syrup blurbs. And then I'm deciding to stamp. I didn't like the way the butter looked in the middle of the syrup on the bottom. So I just restamped another one and am stamping a little bit of butter and butter slabs, I guess, and some faces. So um, a couple of the faces are from the A Waffle Lot stamp set, and the rest of the faces are from the Be Happy stamp set. And I like <laughs> that you can use all those different cute little faces together, and they they work so well. They're a little bit smaller than the A Waffle Lot set, but you can't even tell. So it worked out perfectly. And now I am taking that little P image from Be Happy and masking off the rest of the P. So only the little legs and feet will get inked up. And I am stamping them directly onto my waffle. Missed it in the camera on that one, but don't worry, I've got three more tries. <laughs> I, uh, I'm just lining up the bottom of the pea with the bottom of the waffle, and I'm doing that for the legs, and then I'm also doing that for the arms of the pea as well. And as you can see, it's not perfect. Sometimes I don't line up. My block is super dirty. <laughs> um, I need to like like scrub it clean. And so you can see it's not perfect, but once it's all cut out, I'm going to use a white gel pen to kind of clean up those edges. And honestly, you can't even tell that it wasn't supposed to have arms and legs. I love making these little food, I call them food critters, because, you know, the waffle is cute in itself. But once you had a smiley face and some arms and legs, unstoppable, <laughs> unstoppable level of cuteness. And that is that easy peasy. I did heat set my images just to make sure they were dry and they weren't going to run. And now we're going to color. For the waffles, I am using a mustard color for the base of my waffle, which it could have been good just like that. <laughs> but then I go back and I add a mid brown and then I pull it out. I use it, add a little bit more of the mustard and then I use the uh, light beige to pull the rest of it out. And all of the waffles are colored the same way. Little bit of base with the mustard, some mid-brown in the shadow, little mustard to pull that out, and then the light beige to smooth everything out uh, for the rest of the image. And like I said, the mid-brown is actually pretty dark and it kind of looks like they are uh, burnt a little bit, but as someone who has made <laughs> waffles themselves, um, it is very indicative of my waffles. <laughs> so I am leaving it. But like I said, if you just use that one mustard color, look, it would be perfect. Uh, my mid brown is getting kind of dry. So um, I have to get a new one. But until then, I'm kind of just, uh, that's why you saw me having to wipe it off um, when I was using it on that last waffle. Um, next up, I am coloring the butter uh, with yellow and mustard again, just using a tiny bit of mustard in the corner of the butter, and then a little bit of yellow, and then my water brush to pull it all out. Super easy, these images are very tiny, not a ton of coloring needed. That one went fast, but it was platinum brown for the fork. Again, no other color, just the platinum brown. Next up is green, may green, and yellow green. 
Why I decided to use three colors for that tiny, tiny strawberry top, I don't know, but I did because that's my go-to green color combination and that's what I did. <laughs> I'm also using um, Carmine Scarlet Red and Mid Brown, which again was used on the waffles. I always use browns to shade my reds, just like I use a light brown to shade my yellows. And I also then go in with that same yellow for the butter, right on the edge of my strawberry, um, just I thought it would be a unique touch. I am using light blue and Persian blue for the blueberries. And just tiny little dabs of color. These are so small, but I didn't think they were blue enough. So then I got out, I think it's blue, the blue color. Yes, it is. It is just blue. And I used it to add a little bit of shading to my blueberries because I'm ridiculous. That's, that's why I'm ridiculous. Uh, last up is the syrup and I'm using brown and light brown, but I promise you those names are deceiving. These are like reddish browns and orangey browns. I mean, I love how this color looks, but I would never say that they're, you know, like a typical brown. I think they're perfect for syrup. Uh, oh yeah, I'm using light carmine, which is hard to tell on my label, and pale orange for all the little cheeks. And again, all these syrups are colored the same way. The lightest color all the way around, the dark color to pull it out, and then my water brush to pull the rest of it out. And then I'm adding little pink cheeks to my syrups once they're a little bit dry. And those are my images. They're so cute and sweet, and it seriously... So easy and fun to color. They're so cute. You could do amazing things with these sets. Uh, next, I die cut all of my images except for these waffles because, of course, I added the arms and legs. So there is no coordinating die since I created them. And so I'm just going to show you how I fussy cut them out. It did not take long at all. And as you can see, I'm mostly just moving my paper. I'm not moving my scissors. I'm just moving my paper. And when I do move my scissors, I mess up a little. Um, but yes, just move the paper towards the scissors and then easy peasy. That's how I, I'm only showing the one, but that's how I cut them all out. Next, I am showing you how I am making my waffle iron. I drew out a little test piece on a scrap piece of paper. And next I'm going to draw it on my black licorice cardstock. I'm using the same die that comes in the A Waffle Lot die set for the waffle, and I'm tracing it with a pencil to get the uh, circle shape that I need. And um, it's uh, I struggled a little bit because of the little tabs from die cut from the dies, but um, there's my circle. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm gonna erase the pencil lines at the end anyway. I am adding a little clip that folds for the waffle iron at the top and a little handle that to me looked a little bit too fat. So I'm just using it, making it longer and skinnier. And again, doesn't matter. I'm going to erase the pencil lines. As you can see, the black licorice is folded over because I'm only going to cut it once and it's going to cut both the top and the bottom. And I'm just gonna cut along these lines, and I am no hand drawing artist, um, but I can draw a circle and a little handle. So that's that's what I did. And there is my little uh, waffle iron ready to be um, to make some waffles. I just used my eraser to erase my pencil lines. Now you would never even know that they were there. And I'm just gonna show you how it looks. Next, I am just going to stamp that full waffle image inside the waffle iron with some white ink. I don't want it to be super bright, like a, I, so I wouldn't want to white emboss it, but I do want it to show um, the hint of the waffle lines so that it looks like a waffle iron when you open it. Next, I am heat embossing the sentiment. As you can tell, it's not a complete sentiment because I'm not using that word waffle. I'm going to be using um, die cut letters from Henry's ABCs. So I just wanted the lot heat embossed and the I like you a or I love you a I can't remember um, heat embossed. So then I'm going to uh, trim those out with my trimmer and you, I don't need to worry about the the waffle part. Um, 
I am using Distress Inks to ink blend on some fog car cardstock. I am using a rainbow of colors. I used pink, picked raspberry, abandoned coral, dried marigold, squeezed lemonade. Now I am using mowed lawn. And next I am going to use Mermaid Lagoon and a little bit of blueprint sketch right in the corner just to make it a little bit darker. And it's just a little subtle rainbow. Usually I ink blend so it's super dark and vibrant and saturated, but I just went over this basically one time just to add a little bit of fun whimsy to the background. And now I'm going to splatter some white acrylic paint on the background with some water and I love how that looks of course <laughs> and that's basically what the card's going to look like I just uh set it all out to, to uh see and now I'm going to just attach everything the waffle letters were die cut with Henry's ABCs and I'm using the Lawn Fawn Jumbo glue pen to attach it all to the background and Everything else except for the waffle iron is going to be popped up with foam tape. So I have the foam tape there on the banner and I'm just using a little bit of glue to make sure it is attached. I'm attaching this little guy. I gave him a fork next. <laughs> I gave him a fork and I thought it was adorable that he was a waffle with a fork. And then I put him next to the waffle with the bike cut out. And I thought to myself, well, he looks like a waffle cannibal. <laughs> That's that was a mistake. That was on me but I still think it's adorable. I did pop up the little waffle inside of the waffle iron as well because he is so cute. And then I added the last waffle on the bottom and I am just going to fold my card base over and then add all the adhesive and glue to my card front and then attach that to the card base. And then it's complete. I love this cute card. Those waffles are just so cute. I love, love how much you can add personality to them. And this cute little waffle iron was so easy and fun to make. And I just thought it would be the fun little addition to the card. Be sure to check it out on the Lawn Fawn blog. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.